Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Nice Ten Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at this advanced military base by Space Assassin, and I have to say it's one hell of a unique creation. We don't really take too much of a look at bases and outposts, but I thought I'd make a little bit of a change for this one because it has a lot of really cool and unique features. So let's actually approach the entrance of the base or the facility itself. So you can see we've got this perimeter fence on either side we've got ourselves these two watchtowers and these spotlights keeping a little bit of an eye. Now this really reminds me of a prison, so you've got this two type airlock locking system that prevents anything out as well as this sort of cut down solar panel acting as a window so you can see into the airlock design just really quite cool we've also got this arch going over the gate so if we go to the left we are met with this beautiful little roadway and a number of different parking bays for various different vehicles as you come into this center say there was a mining operation going and you return with a mining rover i really like the idea of these areas to load up and drop off supplies so you can see you've got the hopper up at the top and you've got the hoppers below so you can quickly unload your vehicle if you wish so you've got one of them on either side and then you've got the storage site so you've got the storage area over there and you've got the storage area over here as well now if we go through here you can see that all these areas are number one accessible by vehicles and then they've got the catwalks and gantries that lead to the upper areas as well it just it really reminds me of all it's kind of just what you'd expect of a military sort of facility like this and storage site a very special very, it's very sort of sci-fi-esque the way he's laid it out with all these pillars and catwalks so as we go into this area we've actually got ourselves a number of different refinery chimneys so along the actual base as well on this side you can see we've got the refineries and i'm guessing that is something to do with the waste produced from here so just to create this funnel effect he's obviously put a thruster down there damaged it and it creates a lovely little effect indeed you can see my little rover down here from where i've been patrolling we've also got another manned position so you can stand up in here and shoot at the enemy as they approach as well as turrets at various points around the outpost anyway we've had a look at this side let's actually have a look at what's over at the other storage side so we've got access into this area so you can see please um us your legs please us your legs okay i don't know what that means so as we go into here we've actually got ourselves two little landing bays and we've got ourselves a little bit of water and a lake so going around the side we actually enter into what could either be a prison camp or a village either or so you can see we've got this little security post and an airlock type door and we've got the little village with each one of these is a little burning type fireplace inside to keep the residents warm or maybe they're just burning bodies i don't know it sounds really horrible no it's the mine it's the mine aaron it's a mine isn't it because they've got mine access so this is where all the miners must actually live and as they mine into this cave here maybe maybe that's what it is well i hope that i hope that's what it is so there's a little facility and you've got a little pathway that leads up to this guard tower that overwatches the whole of the flight line now what's great around this area is it's not really short of spots to actually park your aircraft and you can see down in this area you could offload a much larger aircraft or a number of smaller ones at one time i just love how it's, it's kind of recessed into the ground there just really nice it gives it a little bit of protection from around as well so you can see into this area we've got the military area from away from the storage and all that so you can see we've got another one of these airlock with gatling turrets supporting it and just solar panels to act as fences very simple cut them down and it acts as that very simple wall type effect very nice indeed as well as these pillars that they've connected up this inner area with as well very nice design ideas lots of things that i haven't seen before and a few bits that i have seen before but used a little bit differently so as we enter into the military part we've got the rocket launchers of course besides the top we've got ourselves the briefing room that also has this really cool overlook of the valley below so you can see the chairs sitting there so as you get those the pilots are basically getting their briefing in the morning they have a look at this and as they go out they have either their vehicles helicopters spaceships whatever they pretend to be flying in this either in one of the hangars or lined up on the pads and if we actually zoom out here you can actually see the detailing that is put into the pads so you've got them little h pads possibly for helicopters and then we've got the runway 33 on either side just really beautiful i love a lovely base and there's been a lot of time and effort that's definitely gone into this so check out the link in the description below if you find or want to use this for yourself anyway definitely worth a check out and i will see you 